Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm back with my final fall themed makeup tutorial. Um, I just did this very like dramatic green smoky eye. I feel like this reminds me of leaves. The leaves around here, the majority of them are kind of like a green and yellow and that was sort of my inspiration for this but you could totally make this into like a holiday smoky eye sort of thing. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off this look with the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is probably one of my top three favorite primers. It kind of goes on white and almost purplish. Once you put on your foundation, that will disappear. You can really see it mainly on deeper complexions. I remember when I worked at Sephora, I would always have to give that warning to clients. And now for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia foundation. So this is the foundation. I really like their packaging, how it shows the logo here and then on this side it says foundation because I'm just a sucker for packaging. I'd say that this gives a pretty medium to full coverage and it says it gives a luminous finish, but I feel like it's more skin-like than luminous, which works for me because I do get pretty oily. I wouldn't say that this is one of the more dewy foundations out there. I'm on day, day 12 after getting my microblading touched up. And I'd say maybe three or four days ago, they really started getting like flaky flaky. So I have a couple flakes that I'm just like trying not to touch. For concealer, I'm gonna go into the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the color Light Neutral. I'm doing one dot under each eye. And then I'm gonna go in with the FO3 brush from Sigma to blend it in. This is very full coverage. One dot is more than enough. I'm gonna go into my MAC powders and set my under eye, I have a uh, light sweep, which is this one in the middle. And then, oh, I forgot the name of the, I don't know. I'll link it down below, but I'm gonna mix these two together and set my under eyes. I'm also quickly gonna grab my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just set where I get oily. For my bronzer, I really wanna try, I've tried these before, but it's been a long time since I've tried the Fenty powder bronzers. I've been using the creams for so long and kind of just forgot about these. So this is Shady Biz from Fenty. It's the powder bronzer. And I've been loving this brush from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the bronzer and blush brush. It's just like the perfect size for um, getting in between my forehead and my brow. I don't know, see, I'm, now that I'm using this, I'm remembering why. I, they, I just don't really think of using these powder bronzers. I feel like they're just a little bit too warm for me. And then I'm gonna do some contouring. I'm gonna use my 112 brush from Smith and go into, I believe it's called Bone Beige from MAC. This is like my favorite contour product right now. I'm gonna go into my Luxie 182 brush and I this might take a long time, but I really want to do a very dramatic nose contour. I'm gonna go into some highlighter. This is the Mary Luminizer by the balm highlighter looks like this this is such a classic highlighter i'm gonna go into this with my sigma f35 and just apply it on the cheekbones i'm gonna go into it with my finger and just have it on my nose and cupid's bow for blush i'm gonna go into one of these mac ones here just because i forgot to grab a blush and this has blush in it so i think i'm gonna grab gingerly and i might mix it with peaches all right, I'm gonna go into the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. I've really been loving the Makeup by Mario double-ended brush because my nails have gotten pretty long. I normally could just go in there and dig in there, but now it's just gonna get everywhere. So I've been loving this brush because it's just such a nice size. So I just get it on there and then I'll go in with my finger and just tap it in. So I wanna know where your where your brain's at. Are you still in the fall spirit or are you just kind of like F it, I'm ready for Christmas. I'm kind of like right in between. So I primed my eyes and set them with a little bit of powder and now we can move into the eyeshadow. I have two palettes here. I love them both and they're both from Melt Cosmetics. I have the Gemini palette, which I just heard it rattle. I forgot there's a shadow in here that's loose. So I have to be careful when I'm opening this. And then I also have smoke sessions. First gonna go into the Gemini palette and I'm gonna grab Mochi on a Makeup by Mario EF2 brush and use this as the base crease shade for my look. I'm just slowly building up this color, adding a little bit at a time so that I don't go overboard all at once. I'm now gonna go into Fire OG, keeping this right on that outer lid and outer crease. Once the majority of that color is in that spot, I'm gonna start carrying it into the crease. I think this is a 230, but it's like totally worn out. Get a little bit more detailed with this same color. 
I'm also gonna grab that and put it right here on the inner lid. And the way that my arm is coming from, I'm tilting my head that way so I can access that area. I switched to a rougher 13 brush, by the way, because it was smaller and can get into that little crevice. I'm also gonna use this now on the outer corner just because anytime you have a more precise brush, it will apply the product more densely. Okay, so now I'm right-handed. I'm gonna work on my left eye. Anytime I have to work on my left eye, I always cross my arm, cross and access it from the outside of the eye rather than coming across this way and trying to do it because then it blocks my vision and I can't see. And I'm tilting my head towards my hand. Going back into mochi with that really precise brush and hitting right at the edge. I'm just carrying that Fire OG shade in the crease now that we've kind of established the base and how smoky it's gonna be. I'm just going really lightly holding towards the middle part of my brush and then go back in with mochi and blend that out. Okay, now I'm gonna hop over into the Smoke Sessions palette and I'm gonna go into both Sour Diesel and Space Queen. These two shades, this one's a little bit more blue and this has a little bit more of like a mossy brown feel. So I feel like they would look really good together. And I'm just gonna use that same rougher 13 brush. And just kind of pinpoint this right on the outer and also the inner corner. I'm gonna grab a MAC 242 brush and I'm first gonna go into Black Widow. Really get my brush in there and I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray to make it really metallic. And just kind of push this right in this empty area. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like chunky in a good way. I'm gonna tap this over on the outer edges too. I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave that blank or not, but I think I wanna cover it just so that peeks through behind it. And now I'm gonna go into that, oh, I didn't realize the name, Granddaddy. <laughs> the shade here on the opposite side of the brush, spray it and pop this right in the center. This is more of like a true like metallic shimmery formula where the one before it was a little bit more chunky glittery. So this one is going on a little bit more frosty. Doing this shape will make your eyes a little bit more round looking. Okay, so I kind of want to add some of those like more turquoisey shades. So I think I'm gonna go into Mean Green, this one here, and just kind of start adding that into the shimmery colors. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in with that precise 13 brush from Ruffer and just go over and blend this a little bit. I'm just gonna lightly go over with that um, Black Widow shade just to kind of diffuse the brightness of that other color. Really wanna do like a thick dramatic wing. So I'm gonna go into the Rare Beauty uh, Liquid Liner, Perfect Strokes Liquid Liner. This does not like going over that shimmer color. So I kind of have to just like push it in and keep kind of like going over it and layering it. I'm actually gonna go over this cause I just feel like it's not really black right here. I'm gonna go into the L'Oreal one and see if it'll make it really black right in this area. That's disappointing because this is so easy to use. I feel like I really got that wing pretty quickly, but it just did not work very well over those very like buttery shimmery shades. I'm gonna go into that first mochi shade and just start othering this underneath. I'm gonna grab mochi on a more precise brush. This is an E15 from Sigma. Pop that at the lash line. This has some brown in it obviously, so. I guess we're adding a little bit of brown in here. I'm gonna go into Mary Luminizer by The Balm and highlight the inner corner. I'm gonna go into mascara. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Just gonna give myself a little base on the upper lashes. I'm gonna apply these lashes. They're the Sephora Swanky Lashes. They're a little spiky and like PC. I'm gonna like try to push these up so you can really see them because my liner was so thick, I feel like you couldn't see the lashes. I'm gonna go into some mascara. This is the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I'm using a different one just because I want a like smaller brush. I kinda wanna like do one of these. I'm coming straight from the bottom and just kinda like wiggling it so they're a little bit more PC chunky. And then I'm gonna take my lash and just pinch some lashes together at the base, just to give it more of like a 60s vibe under there. I like that, it kind of goes with the lashes. Okay, I need to do like a beigey lip because this colorful green on top is enough. If you wanted to use this for like a holiday look, you could pair this with like a deep berry. Okay, I guess that would be fall too, but 
like a deep dark berry color would be beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go into the KKW Nude One lip liner. My natural lip line is so weird. So I always like start by lining on the actual lip line and then I'll go over. Okay, I think I'm gonna go over it with this color from ColourPop, it's called Appy. This is the finished look. I love it. I'm so glad I didn't go overboard on the bottom lash line. I feel like I normally would. Yeah, I love this. I like what I did with the lashes and everything. So yeah, here's the look up close. All right, you guys. That's everything for this video today. I hope you enjoyed following along and seeing how I got this dramatic green smoky look. If you end up recreating it, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And let me know down below in the comment section what holiday videos you want to see. I know it seems really early, but I'm kind of planning something special. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. But I start filming next week for Christmas and holiday content. So let me know what you'd like to see from that down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.